Good evening, I'm Matt Hartman. And I'm Mitchell Baldwin. Here's tonight's top story. On Monday, President Trump signed an executive order to cut federal regulations that he calls one in, two out plan, which coincidentally is the same plan that Trump uses to describe his marriages. <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> uh, Starbucks has announced a pledge to hire 10,000 refugees, but only after the refugees go through a strict vetting process to make sure they know how to correctly misspell everyone's name. <laughs> Education Secretary nominee Betsy DeVos plagiarized answers she submitted as part of her nomination process. Commented a public school student. Whoa, Betsy DeVos plagiarized her answers? <laughs> She does know how public school works. <laughs> Bunch of cheaters, I see. <laughs> On Monday, Barack Obama issued a statement against President Trump's Muslim ban, mainly because right now Obama is vacationing overseas and wants to make sure he can get back into the country. <laughs> Patrons of a Pasadena cheesecake factory were unharmed after an unidentified man set off explosives in the restaurant. Commented a customer who was at the cheesecake factory. Thankfully, we were all okay because we totally just hit behind a cheesecake factory menu. <laughs> the Trump administration is reportedly cutting off CNN. They got the idea from TV viewers. <laughs> Everyone's sad for seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch it. Uh, Matthew McConaughey told the BBC that it's time for Americans to embrace the fact that Donald Trump is president. And to help Americans embrace Trump, McConaughey is changing his signature catchphrase to all white, all white, all white. <laughs> And now, we're Hard News Meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news, straight from the Super Bowl, it's Lady Gaga! Hello, my little monsters. I would have levitated from the ceiling, but Io wouldn't clear the permit. So I walked. Are you ready for some jokes? Yeah. Here we go. Ben Affleck has dropped out as the director of the new Batman movie. Affleck grew frustrated after the actor playing Batman ruins take after take with his terrible acting. <laughs> La La Land has won the top prize at this year's Producers Guild Awards. The win got Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone so excited that their emotions could only be expressed by barely passable singing. <laughs> One of Johnny Depp's former managers says that Depp spends $30,000 a month on wine. Responded Depp. $30,000 a month. I spend about four times that a month on scars. <laughs> and finally, in the video for his new hit single, Shape of You, Ed Sheeran plays a boxer. It's different from all Ed Sheeran's other videos where he plays a hobbit. <laughs> Sunday, Mary Tyler Moore was laid to rest in a funeral in Connecticut, attended by about 50 people. The family had invited more guests, but they could not make it after all. <laughs> An Oregon woman got her python stuck in her stretched earlobe. <laughs> Commented the woman. That's the last time I'm wearing dead mice's earrings. I'll see you at home, honey. Earlier this week, Budweiser unveiled a Super Bowl ad that is pro-immigration. Budweiser is in favor of lots of immigrants coming to America because they haven't learned yet how shitty Budweiser tastes. John Kerry is planning to write a memoir. 
As a bonus, the audiobook will also double as one of those sleeping tapes. <laughs> Last Sunday, Tiger Woods took a commercial flight for the first time in over 10 years to avoid a layover. Comment to Tiger. Pretty weird that I'd avoid a layover. Consider I like to get laid <laughs> over. <laughs> A bobcat returned to Washington's National Zoo Wednesday after escaping on Monday morning. You can learn more about the bobcat's escape in the upcoming movie, The Pawshank Redemption. <laughs> An essay contest in Westport, Connecticut is asking teens to describe white privilege. The leading entry so far has just four words. Living in Westport, Connecticut. 